Today I'm going to be talking about these boots from a company called Borden. It's a Colombian company and although they're not new to the footwear world, they've been making Goodyear welted shoes in Spain and Italy. This is their first line of boots and their boots are being made domestically in Colombia. And there was some great information uh, about the company, sort of about their ethos uh, and around bringing employment to Colombia reducing waste, being an eco-friendly company, uh, which I thought was really nice to read. It's good to find a little bit out about the company. Uh, and also, Andres that I had been messaging with uh, has also just been really great, answered all my questions. Really nice to deal with, just people that love making footwear, using quality leathers and you know good components that are gonna last and become better over time. Uh, also, within the, um, the packaging, uh, they came in some nice, really nice shoe bags uh, and as, all, as well part of being you know, an eco-friendly, trying to reduce waste, there was a little leather keychain included which uh, is made, the one I have, I've seen some people have received different ones, the one I have is made with some of the veg tan leather that would be used for you know, the insole or the midsole which is just a super uh, thick and sturdy piece of leather, it's pretty incredible uh, and also because the recommended care for the leather is using a beeswax product. They have included some of that with the boots, which was also really nice. I'll add that to my shoe care kit. Um, but we will get into the leather in a moment. Uh, first, we'll, we'll start down with the outsole. It is a Vibram full commando outsole. Uh, including that uh, the top lift on the heel block is also a uh, Vibram Full Commando and then it does have a nice uh, leather lift in there which looks good. It's got a veg tanned leather midsole. It's got a veg tanned welt and now I'll, I'll um, make sure that I mention here that this is sort of a false welt. It's a Blake stitched boot because uh, they don't have the technology right now to do a Goodyear welt, but this first run is Blake stitched, and then the next run they do is going to uh, move to stitch down construction, which I'm really excited to see. That'll be cool. Um, and then there is also a fully veg tan leather insole, so lots of top quality veg tan leathers in there that uh, are going to become more comfortable over time as your foot imprints into all those layers hold up well. Uh, and although these are not Goodyear welted, Blake Stitch is still fully recraftable. Uh, and some of the benefits are, like I do for some of my shoes or loafers, prefer Blake Stitch to Goodyear welt because there, there can be the benefit of it being a little bit lighter um, and then also it, it is more flexible than a Goodyear welt. So there, there can be a case made for Blake Stitch construction, um, but right now just due to the, you know, the capabilities they have with their machinery. These are Blake stitched. It's got a nice cap toe, stitching is nice and straight and even across both rows. The leather on the upper is a waxed suede. So as a, um, unlike a rough out, which is a full grain suede, they you know, split the leather in half and use the, the inside uh, layer. But here what they've done is they've waxed that suede to make it more water resistant, a little bit more durable. It's got a really nice texture to it as well. And again, they've included some beeswax so that uh, when I need to, as these start to get dry or if there are any scuffs, I've got a little bit of, a little bit of beeswax that I can use to reapply to those areas. The stitching throughout is done really well, uh, nice and even. It's got sort of a, a tonal look here, brown stitching on a brown boot. They have round cotton laces, uh, which are nice. The only thing I would say about the laces is they're a little bit short. I don't know if that's just because I've got a wider foot, so I'm not tightening them up as much. But um, the yeah, laces are nice, but just a, a little bit short trying to get those done up. It is a fully lined uh, boot with calf leather. It's nice and soft. Uh, it's been very comfortable. I've been able to wear these a couple times now, uh, and they feel great nice and smooth on the inside. On top of the insole, the, the fully veg tan insole, there is a cushioned insert there. Um, so 
I believe that that could be removed. And we've got a nice heel stay here. Everything's nice and even. Back strip is nice and straight. A lot of care was taken into, you know, making sure all the details are done well. The, uh, the wax suede is from an Italian tannery. Everything um, that they've put into the design really works well. It makes a nice looking boot. The fit is um, actually quite accommodating in the forefoot, in the width. So I'm an E virgin on double E width. And uh, from speaking with Andres at Borden, this is designed to fit an E width foot. So I actually find in here it's actually nice and comfortable. The one area for me, because I have a, a high instep, it does get a little tight in the throat area for me, which um, is to be expected and is, is often a problem area for me anyhow. So it will, it will um, work with my foot over time, but it's going to take a little bit of work for that area to kind of loosen up for me. Uh, in the waist, it's a little bit snug. So depending on what kind of fit you're looking for, um, if you're wide through the waist of your foot, then uh, this might be a little bit snug on you. But for me, where my width is all in the forefoot, it actually works out quite nice. Uh, I'm a, a nine Brannock and they sized me in a 42 and it actually fits perfectly. Length is great. Um, the ball of my foot locks right in with the, the widest point here in the, the ball of the boot. So uh, fit is great and if you have any questions about fit, just send them a message and you'll hear back um, with some sizing advice. They even asked me for some foot measurements so that they could make sure that I was going to get the right size, which was really nice. So as mentioned, uh, Borden is not new to the footwear world. They've been making Goodyear welted shoes in Spain and Italy. Um, but this uh, new run of boots is being made domestically in Colombia. Some really neat things happening there where they're wanting to bring their uh, production back home, providing jobs, reducing waste. Uh, and part of that is that the boots are being made on a pre-order basis. So I have a pair of boots from the first run. The next run they're going to announce when they're ready for orders. People can pre-order and then they will make the boots to order. And then that way they're only making boots and using the amount of materials that are going to go um, that are going to match up with the number of orders that they have so that they can reduce waste that way as well. So a lot of really great things happening there at Borden. Um, really, really impressed with the quality of the components. I'm excited to see the next run uh, that comes out with the stitch down construction. I think that's going to be a really good move to go from Blake stitch on a boot to stitch down construction. So that'll be a nice, uh, nice addition. And uh, yeah, really, really happy and really impressed with this. If the, you know, this is the first run of their boots. So to see just how much care was taken in selecting the materials uh, and just how tidy all the stitching in it, stitching is, uh, nice and comfortable. Fit is great. So yeah, very happy with these. Uh, check out Borden boots.